Well, this morning, he was on death row, and this evening, Vicente Benavides is a free man after false evidence presented at his murder trial in Kern County put him behind bars for more than a quarter of a century. KPX 5's Dolan is live at San Quentin, where Benavides walked out the door about two hours ago now. Da? So after 27 years in prison, what is the first thing he wants to do? He says he wants to drink some tequila. When he walked out of here just before 4 o'clock, he looked very happy, relieved, and ready to leave San Quentin for good. Escorted out of San Quentin in a white prison van, Vicente Benavides stepped out as a free man. Relatives, friends, and his lawyers surrounded him with big hugs and cried tears of joy. He was released at 3.50 this afternoon after spending almost 27 years behind bars. He was wrongfully convicted over 25 years ago, and we are very grateful that this day finally has come. One of his attorneys asked where he wants to go. He says in Spanish, eat and drink tequila. Arrested in 1991, Benavides was convicted in 1993 for murdering and sodomizing a toddler. They sent him to death row. He always said that he was, you know, innocent and innocent. He kept that every single day. Last month, the state Supreme Court overturned the convictions, saying his convictions were based on false evidence. We call it like a miracle, you know. We never, you know, we have the faith but we never thought that's going to happen, and you never expect this is going to happen. The state released his mug shots taken over the years. This was taken in 1993 when he was first convicted. This one in 2000, taken in San Quentin, here in 2007. And the last prison photo in 2010. Now he's 68 years old. Those 27 years where he lost a lot of things outside. His mother passed away, his dad passed away. A lot of things that he missed, those things never came back. And they never, he's never gonna get those things back. Benavides did not want to talk to reporters as he was walking away earlier. We asked him how he was feeling. He only said good. By the way, the Kern County DA, where this case is based out of, uh, the DA says even though they believe he's not a rapist, they're convinced that he is a killer. Live here in San Quentin, I'm Dahlin, KPIX 5.